हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज शेयर एंड डिविडेंड्स सो व्हाट इज शेयर शेयर मींस सपोज सम पर्सन इंटरेस्टेड इन अ बिजनेस एंड दे want to start a big company or a big business so definitely they invest together or they join together to form this company now they divide the estimated money required into small parts this part okay each and every part is called share and that person who are interested in this business or they shared or they invest their money are called shareholder so the first one is share and the second one is shareholder now what is dividend dividend means the profit which a shareholder gets from investment okay so here the dividend dividend means the profit which a shareholder gets for his or her investment from the company now the next terms is in v or the nominal value or you can also call this one as face value so what is the in v or the nominal value or the face value the original value of a share is called the nominal value or the face value okay original value so the original value of a share is called nominal value or face value next one here mv mv means market value okay mv means market value that means the price of a share at any time so here the price of a share at any time it's called mv market value or cash value now the next one is what is at par the meaning at par it's like it is way at par sorry it's p a r not p a e r it's at par at par means if the market value of the share is the same as its nominal value okay that means mv is equal to with nv if the market value of a share is the same as its nominal value then the share is called at par okay we have to know these terms to solve this kind of problems in share and dividends now the next one is at premium okay at premium so what is the meaning of at premium if the market value of a share is more than its nominal value that means here mv is greater than nv it's called at premium or above par you can also call this one as above par the previous one is at par at par means market value is equal to nominal value and above par means market value greater than nominal value and as well as the next one is below par definitely or at discount the another name of below par so write down here below below par means at discount the another name now in that case here the market value is less less than the nominal value okay so these are the important terms first one nominal value the original value of the share market value the price of a share at any time at par when the market value and the nominal value are equal above par when market value is greater than nominal value below par when market value is less than nominal value so now i am going to uh, discuss about the formula so here the first formula it's formula number 1 the invested money or you can write down money invested okay so that is here number of shares into mv okay number of share into mv that means market value of one share market value of one share that is the first formula number 2 number 2 is annual income 
annual income that one equal to here number of shares into rate of dividend that is a profit rate of dividend and then into face value or the nominal value okay face value or the nominal value or you can also call this one as printed value nominal value of one share number three return return uh, sorry it's a rate of return i don't rate on not only the return so it's rate of return so that one equal to here annual income divided by investment into 100 this one here percentage as the rate of return and the last one last formula number of shares that one equal to here you have two formula first one here investment divided by mv okay or the second one is annual income annual income divided by income on one share okay annual income divided by here write down income income on one share so now you have total four formula to solve the exercise problems so let's start with sum number one that is chapter number three from the book of ml agarwal so here the first problem sum number one find the dividend received on 60 shares of rupees 20 each if 9 percent dividend is declared so that means here value of one share that is rupees 20 okay value of one share so definitely the value the value of 60 shares that one equal to 60 multiply with 20 and it's one two double zero that is the value of 60 shares now here the rate so rate of the dividend that is here the nine percent the rate of dividend so the total dividend total dividend equal to rupees one two double zero into nine percent that means rupees one two double zero percentage means nine by hundred so that one equal to here rupees one zero eight as your answer now next one some number some number two here a company declares eight percent dividend to the shareholder okay eight percent dividend remember that if a man receive rupees two eight four zero as his dividend find the nominal value so here the formula for the nominal value as here uh, two eight four zero into or two eight four zero divided by the percentage the rate of dividend so as here percentage means 8% so 8% means 8 by 100 so write down 8 here and 100 will be here clear so now here if you divide this one you will get here rupees 35500 okay so here the nominal value of the share that is 35500 now next number 3 number 3 here a man buys 210 rupees share at rupees 12.50 each okay so a man buys rupees 210 rupees share at rupees 12.50 each so here the face value so the face value of 200 shares so rupees here 10 into 200 that means rupees 2000 okay because the man buys 210 rupees shares that's why 10 into 200 it's 2000 now here and received a dividend of 8% find the amount invested by him and the dividend received by him in cash so here the first one the amount invested for the purchase of 200 share 
at the rate of 12.50 each so write down here uh, money invested so money invested that one equal to here uh, 12.50 into 200 and its rupees 2500 now next one number two rate of dividend so rate of dividend equal to here eight percent so total amount of dividend so total amount of dividend equal to 2000 divided by eight percent so 800 will be here and that one equal to rupees 160 okay that one equal to rupees 160 now next one sub number four find the market price of five percent rupees hundred share when a person get a dividend of rupees 65 by investing rupees 1430 okay so as here 15 percent 15 percent rupees 100 share okay that means here the face value of one share that one equal to rupees 100 okay so write down here the face value the face value of one share that one equal to rupees 100 clear now if you want to find out the total face value so here the dividend is 65 okay rate of dividend equal to 5 percent so here write down the total total face value equal to 65 by 5 into 100 okay so that one equal to here 1300 so 13 is the total face value when the investing amount is rupees 1430 okay the investing amount is rupees 1430 so now here you can apply the unitary method so when the face value or if the face value is rupees 1300 then the market value is rupees 1430 okay if the face value is rupees 1300 then the market value is rupees 1430 now if the face value is 1 then the market value is 1430 by 1300 and if the face value is 100 then the market value will be 1430 into 100 by 1300 so 13 cancel out it's 11 0 so that means here rupees 110 as your answer now next sum number 5 so sum number 5 here salman buys rupees 50 shares of face value rupees 100 available at rupees 132 so that means here face value for one share that is rupees 100 market value of one share that is rupees 132 here the number of shares that one equal to 50 so first here you have to find out what is his investment okay so investment that one equal to now the formula for investment number of shares 50 into market value of one share that is 132 so rupees 6600 that is your first answer now number two if the dividend is 7.5 percent per annum what will be the annual income so write down here annual income annual income so here the number of share that is 50 then into rate of dividend rate of dividend here 7.5 percent that means 7.5 by 100 into face value of one share that is 100 so 100 100 cancel out 50 into 7.5 that means rupees 375 that is your second answer now the third one if he wants to increase his annual income by rupees 150 how many extra shares should he buy 
so now the annual income the new annual income you can write down this one as new annual income the previous was 375 increased by 150 so that one equal to rupees 525 okay so now the number of shares so number of share that one equal to 525 divided by 7.5 okay and that one equal to rupees 70 so the previous number of share equal to 50 the new one equal to 70 so that means 70 minus 50 20 extra share to be increased okay that means the number of share extra share to be increased that is number 20 that is your answer